Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Let's go to boingboing.net. Ah, yes, you might not think boingboing.net is a really uh, reputable name, but I got to tell you, they have some absolutely bang-on material over there, and I suggest everybody go over and check it out. One of their articles, about half of Detroit can't read. Half of Detroit can't read. Now, a lot of people would be like, tisk, 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 you know, no. I have a very different view on this. I'm going to kind of break it down for you, okay? Obviously, and this article points it out, the public education system has failed. Now, it says it is failing the, the, the citizens, pardon me, of Detroit. However, I will tell you, the public education system was never designed to be a success. The public education system was designed to control. The public education system was designed to give children the necessary minimum required information to be able to go into factories and be good drones. It allowed for the institutionalization of America. A lot of people don't like that because they could go home every day to their white picket fence in their home and everything else and um, the wife waiting at the door, you know, June Cleaver. Because back in the day, that was possible. You know, I always cite this statistic because it's very, very telling about the difference in when our, my grandparents and my parents grew up and then raised, you know, raised their children to now where the current time where I'm raising my children, it's vastly different. In 1955, back to the future, if you worked, say, as a cashier at a grocery store, and you compare what you made in 1955 to what you make at Walmart today as a cashier, which averages about $8.80 an hour. When you adjust for inflation what that cashier made in 1955, it would be the equivalent of $38 an hour today. So, of course, somebody being a cashier could support their family working full-time, 40 hours a week, being a cashier, go home, and mom could stay at home, raise the kids, was much more plugged in. You didn't have the babysitting public school system go and raise your children and institutionalize them for you. There was more of that component. Yes, did it teach you that? Did it cookie-cutter uh, the subject matter? When the bell rang, did you have to go here and there and there? And why did they tell you that? Because you needed to learn that, that responsibility, because that's the way work was when you entered the workforce. But see, now all that's changed because now parents really aren't as engaged as they used to be. And then if they are, typically it's having to do four and five hours of homework with your child each night because the public school system no longer really teaches as much as they used to because they have to prepare for testing to justify their federal funding in a child, no child left behind type of thing. If you take a look at the statistics in 1953 when the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare was established, that's when the United States government took over public education. We were number one in the world in literacy, math, and science. In 2016, we are 40th in the world in science, 25th in the world in math, 24th in the world in literacy. Folks, it has failed. In Detroit, 47 of people in Detroit are illiterate. Now that's not, let me say this, that's not a panic thing, and I'll tell you why. There's an alternative form of, of homeschooling now that is sweeping the nation. And it's something that I would suggest you read up on. It's an unbelievable thing. It's called unschooling. And basically what it is, is you allow your child to develop 
naturally. You let them grow naturally, and where they gravitate to is where you start to push, you know, where they go. And wouldn't you know it, when you unschool children, they naturally evolve into what they were designed to be. And everybody's different. And we all have our special gifts and our traits. But what would happen if more people embraced this type of idea is you wouldn't snuff out your Einsteins and your, your Edisons and your Teslas by putting them in a square box and, 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 and forcing them to conform and drugging them if they don't. I mean, this is the product. 47% of people in Detroit are illiterate. Look at folks. It's that way because the system is broken. We need to stop supporting these systems, these broken, failed systems, and start looking outside of the system because that, my friends, is where the solution is. But it starts with you, you at home. I'm Joe Joseph. This is the DailySheeple.com. This was your new shot. Feel free to comment below, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and our newsletter over at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.